Hi friends, Miss PG here. I have another writing lesson to share with you. And today I'm pretty excited because we're going to be talking about families. And I love talking about families because we all have different types of families and we all have beautiful love in our families. So today I'm going to read another book that helps us with our ideas for our writing. And I want you to pay close attention to the family in this story and how your family might be similar, the same, or different from the family in this story. And then we're going to use the sentence stems In my family, I have, hmm, and you're going to list who's in your family, and then you're going to draw it for your writing learning activity. We're also going to use the sentence stem as a challenge. We like to, hmm, together. Remember, writers, that we put our thinking into where the line is. So with this, we're thinking about what do you do with your family? What do you like to do with your family? And that can be the challenge of you drawing your family in action together. You might like to play games with your family. You might like to go to the park with your family. You might like to watch movies with your family. You might like to eat or cook with your family. Those are all just ideas of things we do together in families. So friends, today please pay close attention to the story, we listen with our ears listening and our eyes watching. And remember, if you need, you can replay the read aloud video so that you can get more ideas if you didn't catch it the first time. It's great as writers and as readers and as listeners to repeat what we have listened to or read. Okay. This book is called Families Are Different. And the author, the person who writes the words, say it with me, friends, author writes the words, and the illustrator paints or draws the pictures, is the same person in this story. And her name is Nina Pellegrini. She is the author and the illustrator. Families are different. Listen for ideas. Families are different. Friends, this is our title page. It has the title of our story and it has the author and illustrator who is one person, Nina. Hello, my name is Nico. Actually, Nicola, but everyone calls me Nico. I live in a large town with my family. I have a mother and a father, a big sister, and a dog. Nico. My sister's name is Angelica. We call her Angel, but if you ask me, she's no angel. Sometimes she drives me bonkers. <gasps> Friends, who can make a connection? Who has a sister or a brother that kind of drives them bonkers, mad, angry sometimes? I do. Connection. When I was your age, my sister and I would play games together and we sometimes would get in arguments and get mad at each other because we were annoying each other. If you've ever experienced that, you can show an I agree as you're listening to this read aloud lesson. We fight a lot, but we still love each other tons. If you have experienced that with a sibling, if you have a sibling, a sister or a brother, or someone in your family. You still love each other, even though you might 
be annoyed of each other sometimes. Angel is teaching me how to read. So that's something that families do together. Some families do together. But I don't always pay attention. Angel looks a lot like me. We are both adopted. So that means that their the their parents are may not be from the same place they are from. They're they're the the mom that birthed them that had them is from a different place and the mom that had them is from Korea. We came from Korea when we were babies. Korea is a country on the other side of the world. Sometimes we wear our special Korean outfits. Friends, do any of you have special outfits? garments, clothes that you like to wear in your family? First came Angel, then four years later I came. My mom and dad and sister met me at the airport, but not my dog. So Nico came from Korea just like Angel came from Korea. And then they are now with these parents who became their parents. These, these two people who became their parents. And Angel was there first. Angel is older. Angel's the older sister. So she came to be with these two parents first. And then Nico came. My dog is. My dog's name is Buster. He doesn't look like me, but sometimes we have the same hairdo. Cute. He gives me lots of slurpy kisses. Buster is one of my best friends. Who has a pet at home that's part of their family? I have four best friends, counting Angel and Buster. My other best friends are Molly and Anna. We go to kindergarten together, where we play for most of the day. We are six years old now. My mom and dad are really old. You have to count to above 30 to get to their age. I love them a lot. I hug and hug and hug them, and I give them lots of kisses. Is there someone in your house that you give hugs and kisses to? In your family? Like Nico. They don't look like me either. They both They both have blue eyes and wavy hair. That's because I'm adopted. I grew in someone else's belly. But my mom and dad are the ones who promise to love and take care of me forever. So like I said before, friends, Nico came from a different set of parents, a different set of adults. She was born from a different set of adults, but now her mom and dad who take care of her and love her are these, these two people. These two people who adopted, became the parents of Nico and Angel. At first, I didn't think, I didn't think it was strange that it looked different. Then for a while, it bothered me because Molly and Anna look like their moms and dads. I wanted to just be like them. So she was feeling sad that she did not look like her parents. Sometimes I even felt sad or angry. I would hear 
mothers talking on to each other and they would say, oh, your baby looks just like you. That made me feel different too. Sometimes people talk and they don't realize that it might hurt someone else's feelings. Then I talked to my mom about it. She told me that there are different kinds of families. She said that they are glued together with a special kind of glue, a glue called love. Friends, I like making this heart to remind me how important love is. And love is a part of our families and it's a part of our friendships as well. But today we're really talking about families. Love is what the glue that holds us together. And you don't have to look like your parents for love to exist. Love can exist in all types of different families and does exist. So I started looking around and this is what I saw. One of the kids in my class looks like his dad, but not like his mom. One boy has a sister and a mom for a family, but not a dad. Different kinds of families. There is a big family who are all related. They look alike, even their dog Sparky. And there is also a medium sized family who all look different, even though they're related too. They all have different colored hair. They all are different sizes. There is a very small family of a little girl and her dad. And there's a girl whose parents are divorced, so no longer together. There is a boy who lives with his sister and his grandmother and grandfather. Some families, the kids live with their grandparents. My sister has a friend who lives with her father, her stepmother, and her younger half-sister. Sometimes there are half-sisters and step-parents. All are families that have love. And there is even a family that has one kid who grew up in his mom's belly and one kid who was adopted. There sure are a lot of different families. So this family has one kid that is adopted, came from another woman's belly, and one kid that came from this woman's belly. I have a friend like that who's in a family just like that. Now, I don't think I'm strange at all. I'm just like everyone else. I'm different. And boy, oh boy, my family must be stuck together with the strong glue because there's sure a ton of love around here. Wow, friends, this was a really beautiful book. So what was this book all about? What I remember is that families can be all sorts of different people in them. So you might have your grandma and grandpa living with you. You might ha just have your grandpa. You might have your, you might have a step brother or sister or a half brother or sister. It might just be dad with you. It might just be mom with you. You might have a family member who's adopted or you might be adopted. And guess what? In all families, there's love. And that's the glue that Nico is talking about that keeps her family together. And I know it helps keep your family together too. So friends, when you go back to Seesaw, what we're gonna work on is who is in your family? And we're gonna use this sentence stem. In my family, I have, and you're gonna list who's in your family. In my family, I have a mom and a dad and two sisters. That's what I have in my family. And I'm also gonna 
share challenge share we like to ride bikes together that's one thing we like to do together so friends when you go back to seesaw i'll share with you how i'm gonna draw my family and show something we like to do together okay head back to seesaw to complete the learning activity <laughs> 